Hello everyone, welcome back to Code Dias. In this particular video, we'll discuss uh, different methods or functions of present inside a threading module. So basically, we completed basic concept of thread, different ways of creating thread, advantages of multi-threading, and all these things we completed. Now, in this video, we'll discuss uh, one method that is a uh, each alive method. What each alive method is actually okay. So which is available inside a uh, I can say threading module is actually okay. So basically the name itself says that is alive means uh, whether it is alive or not. Okay. Whether a thread is uh, alive or not. If it is alive. Okay. If it is alive, uh, return true. If it is not alive, return false. With multiple example, practical based example, we will discuss so that you will get the clarity is actually okay. First uh, three line, we will discuss the theory. Then we'll directly we'll move towards the practical. We'll discuss a multiple number of example. Okay, fine, sir. So here, what is the theoretical point means, sir? Each alive method is basically used to check, sir, or basically used to check whether that the thread is alive or not. Thread is alive or not. If it is running, if it is executing, if a thread is executing, if a thread is executing, then we can say it is alive. If a thread is not executing, we can say it is not alive. Suppose I created one thread called as a T1. Okay, T1 is equal to thread. Okay, so that means I created thread. But is it alive? No. Why? Because it is not started yet. Okay, practically we will cover. Don't worry for that. So that means, uh, uh, is it still running or not? Is it still running or not? So each alive method is basically used to check... Uh, Okay, whether that thread is alive or not. How we can say alive if it is in running, then we can say alive. If it is not running, then how we can say it is alive? No. Okay, fine. So if it is in running, then it will return true. If it is not running, then it will return false is actually. Okay, practically we will discuss. The clear cut information is a basic concept of thread is required. Apart from that, the fast example you may feel little bit difficulties, you will get 30% for 30-40% clarity. Once I will discuss second example, you will get 70-80% clarity. Once I will discuss the third example, then only you will get the clarity or okay, something like okay. Depth concept, it is a it is a very depth concept, right? So you have to understand the complete working process. Then only you will get the clarity is actually okay. So directly we will move towards practical so that you will get clarity is actually. Files and all, everything I created. Okay, yeah. Directly we'll move towards practical. See, before moving to uh, is alive method, first I will discuss a uh, sleep method. What guys? Sleep, sleep, sleep method. So first one or two minutes sleep method, then we'll discuss is alive. Why? Because I will use the sleep method inside uh, is alive methods. Okay. First topic is uh, we'll discuss a uh, sleep method is actually okay. So what is a sleep method? It is basically available inside a time module. What? Time module. Input time module. Okay. Time module. Anyway. So first thing, if I write for i in range of type and if I write print i, what it will give you? Uh, it will give you 1 to 5. But the thing is what? Sorry, it will give you 0 to 5. But the thing is what? You will directly get 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Immediately we'll get. Immediately we'll get. Okay. But what my intention? My intention is a uh, first time I will get a zero. Then I want to wait five seconds. Then I want a one. Then five second wait. I want two. Then five second wait. Then three. Then five second wait. Then four. Like this I want. So after printing, what I'll write a time dot sleep of a five second. So five. So that means what output you will get uh, first time it will print 0, then wait 5 seconds, then it will print a 1, then it will wait 5 seconds, then it will print a 2, then it will wait 5 seconds, correct, then it will print 3, wait 5 seconds, then 4, stop, correct, yeah, correct. Any doubt with this one, sir? No doubt at all. I don't think you any doubt, right? No doubt. It's very clear cut information. Very clear cut information. The thing is what? Uh, I'll give one more example. Suppose I want to write a printer, Surendra. 
So print Surendra. Next, I want to write print Priyanka. Next, I want to write print Rahul. Next, I want to print Zini. So what will happen if I'll execute this code, I will directly get a four output immediately without having any kind of a stop or something like. So here what I want a time dot sleep of a two second. So here what I want a time dot sleep of something like a three second. Here what I want a time dot time dot sleep of a five second. Here what I want a time dot sleep of a 10 seconds. If I will execute this code, what will happen means uh, first time directly we will get a Surendra. Then two second wait Priyanka. Then three second wait Rahul. Then five second wait Jini. Do you think my program execution stop? Program execution completed? No. After Jini still it will wait 10, 10 seconds. After 10 seconds program will execute. Yes. Successfully execute that. Clear or not this type of things. Uh, this is actually required to understand the, our uh, alive methods is actually okay. Now we'll move towards the alive methods. Each alive uh, methods. So what the story of is alive method is actually? What is the story of this method? If it is, uh, if it is uh, alive, if it is uh, alive, then it will return true or else or else uh, false that is clear cut information right so what we will do basically okay what exactly our intention uh, if you wants to work with the threading module first you have to input what uh, something like a from threading from threading input on that's it ready completed now what i will do here I'll create a function def fun one. I already told the first example you will get just a 30 to 40 percent. Okay. Just I created one example function called as fun one. Inside that fun one, I have written printer Surendra. Next to what I have written, what I'll write a time dot sleep of a, uh, maybe five seconds. Yeah. Next uh, printer. Priyanka. Correct? Yeah. Now I want to create a thread T1 is equals to thread. What is the target attribute? Target attribute is a fun one. Target. Okay. Already we completed this kind of things. Okay. Target function is a fun one. Next, what I'll write a print defer. Starting T1 thread. Let me check T1 dot is alive or not. Next T1 dot start. Next. After starting T1 thread, T1 dot alive. Now, guys, you have to tell if I'll execute this code, what output I can expect? Hmm. What output I can expect? Pause this video and tell me the output is actually. I hope you guys have completed. So, before doing this one, what I will do, I will first. Ex First, I'll do the diagrammatically representations, so then only we'll get moved towards. Okay. So, what is the execution process of this particular one? So, actually, this is a function, right? If you'll observe very carefully, this is a function. So, by default, it won't be executed. So, what I will do, I will write these things here. Yeah. So, this is a function. So, by default, it won't execute. Correct. So, actually, here, if you'll observe very, very carefully, Whenever I press a run button, then immediately, immediately it will create a 
one default thread that is a main thread you know very clearly you know main thread what is the job of this main thread it will execute a uh, codes basically right so this main thread will execute this line first of all correct or not this main thread will execute this line why because this is a function it won't execute directly first one this line will execute first time then what is the meaning of this line t1 is equal to thread that means uh, this the meaning of this line is uh, it will create a thread it will create a thread basically okay the meaning of this line is uh, the meaning of this line is uh, it will create a thread is, uh, is actually which thread it will create it will create one thread uh, what is the thread that is a thread one and who is pointing to that one t1 is pointing to that thread who will create this thread means main thread created this thread okay so this line complete and what is the job of this thread it will execute to fawn one okay right next to this line print before starting t1 thread t1 dot is alive sir what it means print means output screen so what i'll do i'll i'll take this is my output screen i'll take this as my output screen what it will print first of all it will print uh, before yeah yeah so it will print before starting t1 thread before starting t1 thread this message it will print then it will print t1 dot is alive that means whether t1 is alive or not alive means what whether it is in running or not is it running no only t1 thread is created but uh, till now it doesn't started till now it, it doesn't started so if you observe very carefully what theoretical point you can write uh, t1 thread created observe very carefully t1 thread uh, created but it uh, won't started till now it doesn't uh, we, till now we can say it won't started okay next uh, come on next come to this line so here t1 dot start now t1 thread started once a t1 thread will start uh, so what it will do it will execute fawn one so control will directly jump to fawn one okay and what it will print uh, it will execute a surendra you will get a surendra Uh, this one will give you false t1 dot is alive not started na? so that's why it will give you false next uh, it will give you surendra right why because t1 dot start means it will go to here and it will print surendra now my t1 thread will wait 5 second now my t1 thread will wait how many second 5 second it will wait clear or not t1 thread uh, will wait a five second it will wait wait means it will sleep 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 five second it will sleep sleep five second okay but we have another thread that is main thread so main thread will do what main thread will execute this line main thread will execute this particular line and here main thread will print what main thread will print after starting t1 thread so observe very carefully it will print after starting after starting t1 thread okay t1 thread t1 dot alive now tell me my t1 is alive or not yes t1 started and t1 is in sleep mode t1 is in sleep mode so is it alive or not yes sleep mode means alive yeah. No problem. So what it will give you true? It will give you true here. So it will give you true. Correct or not means correct, sir. Hundred percent correct. Now main thread work done. Now after five second sleep, after five second sleep, okay. Then your T one thread will print Priyanka. Then it will print Priyanka. Correct or not, this is your output you will get. Take a screenshot or something like, okay? So let me run this one. Correct. Before starting T1 thread, false. Then Surendra, after starting T1 thread, true. Then 
Priyanka. Correct or not? Correct. I hope you guys are getting the clarity. I hope you guys are getting 30 to 40 percent clarity. Right, sir. So next to what I'll do here, I'll copy this one. I'll give one more example. Okay, example number two. In example number two, what I'll do. <laughs> yeah, in example number two, what I'll do here, I'll copy this one. I'll paste it here. Okay. And I will create one more three. I'll create one more function. DEF font two is actually. And inside that font two, what I'll write, I'll write Priyanka here. Right, fine. So T1 I created as, as well as I have created T2. Copy this one, paste it here. I'll write T2 here. T1 dot starter. So T2 dot starter. Sorry guys, I didn't uh, mention T2, this one, T2. This one, font 2. Correct? Correct. Yeah, ready. Pause this video and tell me what is your expected output is actually. Hmm. I hope everyone completed, right? Right, sir. Just check. Let me copy this one and paste it here is actually. Yeah, ready. So what I'll do here, if you'll observe very carefully, let me paste it here is actually. So if you observe very carefully, this is a function, this won't be executed. Again, this is a function, it will no, not execute directly, right? You have to call. So first time, what will happen means the first time default one main thread will execute, okay? Operating system will create a main thread directly. One is main thread. So what will do main thread? Main thread will execute this line as well as a, this line. Okay, who will execute means the main thread will execute. So main thread will create a two different threads. So one is a T1, another one is your T2. Who will create means a main thread will create. One, one is a T1, another one is your T2 is actually. Okay now. So just a two thread created only. Apart from that, nothing. T1 and T2 created. Okay now. Right? Fine. Now print. What it means? Print means what? Output screen or what? Yes, print means output screen. So what it will print? It will print before starting T1 thread. T1 dot is a like is alive means what whether it is in running state or not is it running state t1 is it running state no t1 not started only created so you will get a false here you will get a false here okay both both cases in both cases you will get a false false in both cases you will get something like called as a false and here also you will get something like called as a false actually i hope you guys are getting the clarity about this particular one is actually right fine now t1 dot start and t2 dot start that means both thread will start. Both the thread will start is actually. So what I'll do here, I'll write some start, start. Okay, start means something like I'll write like this. Main thread already started. T1, T2 now started. Okay, so T1, T2 now started. I mentioned some color for starting or something like, okay, anyway. So now started means what? They will do their job. What is the job of T1 thread? T1 thread should execute fawn one. What is the job of T2 thread? T2 thread will execute to fawn 2. Clear or not? And what is the job of main thread? Main thread will execute the remaining code like these two. So now we are in a situation where we have a three threads. Now we are in a situation where we have a three thread. One is T1 means thread 1. Another one is your T2 that is thread 2. Another one is your main thread. So simultaneously, how many thread will run? Three thread. Yeah, is it possible? Huh? Hundred percent pakka possible. Hundred percent possible. Three thread can run simultaneously, or you can say parallelly. So main thread duty is main thread will execute to these two line code. Okay, already remaining code executed. T one thread thread will execute to this function. So T two thread will execute to these uh, this particular function. So what will happen? Already, how many output we get? Means a two line of output already get. 
one is this one another one is your this one false false so we are getting already already we are getting next to both the started next uh, suppose if you think about t1 thread t1 thread duty is uh, it will print surendra but t1 thread will wait five second so it will wait five second okay so t1 will will wait the five second but what about to t2 sir t2 do you think t2 will wait no 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 t2 3 can execute directly no problem t2 won't be wet t2 will not wait t2 directly execute why because there is no sleep so t2 will print a priyanka so in output screen first time you will get a false false okay just observe in output screen what you will get okay that message you can write first time you will get a false next time what you will get you will get a false Next time, what you will get? You will get a Priyanka. Priyanka. Next, T1 thread completed. Executions completed. T1 thread completed. Next, what about main thread? Main thread will execute these two lines. Show what it will print here. After starting T1 thread, T1 dot is alive. Whether T1 is alive or not? Yes, T1 is alive. Why? Because T1, T1 is alive. Why T1 is alive? Because T1 wait now it waiting or you can say T1 is in sleeping mode. It it in it is in sleeping mode for five seconds. So that means is it running or not? Yes, it is running. T1 is now running. T1 is not dead. T1 is not dead. It it will wait five seconds. Then it will print surrender. So that means uh, true or false here. It is true here. So you will get a true here. You will get a true here. It is in running state. You will get a true here. So in output screen, you will get a true here. Now, what about T2 dot is alive? For a T2 work already completed. So that means T2 is alive or not? No, T2 is dead. So that means I can say it is a false. Message you will get no problem at all. Some message you will get after, before you will get that one, no problem. Just what observe, you will get a false, false Priyanka, then true, false. Okay, everything completed. Now, after 5 seconds, after 5 seconds, my T1 thread will execute and it will print a Surendra. It will print a Surendra. Correct? So, you will get a false, false Priyanka, true, false Surendra. This output you will get. False, false Priyanka, true, false Surendra. False, false Priyanka, true, false Surendra. After 5 seconds, you will get Surendra. Correct or not? Very beautiful concept. Multi-threading is not for ordinary people. Multi-threading is not for normal student. It is for special student. Very, very important. Okay, na? correct? Before starting T1 thread, uh, false. Okay, it's not a lie. Before starting T2 thread, again false. Priyanka, after starting. So the thing is what? If you know diagrammatical representation, so if you are writing your notes, means in your note, you have to draw this uh, diagrams. Okay. Then only you will get the clarity. By your own, you have to do. Okay. Yeah, fine. Like this. Another example we will discuss. So that is. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, pause this video and tell me the output, huh? Quick, quick. Yeah, I hope you already completed. The thing is what, uh, one, first it will create main thread. Okay. Then it will create a T1 thread and T2 thread. Correct. Main thread is in started running stage, but T1, T2 already created, not in running stage. So here you will get a false, false. Now T1, T2 started. Okay, now main thread duty, it will execute these two lines. T1 thread duty, it will execute these lines. T2 thread execute duty, it will execute these two lines. But T1 will wait 5 seconds. T2 will wait 10 seconds. That means the main thread will execute and the main thread will print these two things. So T1 is alive. Yes. T2 is alive. Yes. Why? Because T1 is in waiting for... T1 is in sleeping mode for 5 seconds. T2 is also for sleeping mode 5 seconds. Whether both are alive or not. Alive. So here you will get a false. Here you will get a false. 
next you will get a true next you will get a true then after 5 second you will get surendra after 10 second you will get a priyanka so that means uh, observe very carefully first time you will get a uh, hmm, these four output false false or true true then after 5 second surendra next after 10 second priyanka if you do the diagrammatical representation then only you will get the clarity or else nothing 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 okay fine 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 right oh ho, 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 ho. like this only <clears throat> we'll give one more example is actually <laughs> Right, sir. Yeah. Now see. Now what will happen? First main thread created. Next T1 created, T2 created. Main thread is in running state. T1, T2 uh, not started. Then false, false. T1, T2 started. Means T1 will execute this one. T2 will execute this one. And main thread will execute this one. So we have a three thread. T1, T2, main thread. Main thread duties, it will execute these two line of code. T1 thread will execute this one and T2 thread will execute this one. But uh, all thread means a T1 thread should sleep for 5 seconds. T2 thread should sleep for five, uh, 10 seconds. And main thread should sleep for 15 seconds. So what we will get? Uh, we will get a false false here. Then T1, T2, T3. So who will execute first uh, T1? Why? Because after 5 seconds, uh, it will print Surendra. Next, after 10 seconds, it will print Priyanka. Right now, these two threads are work done. Okay, T1 thread work done, T2 thread work done, completed, dead. Now, after 15 seconds, it will check whether T1 is alive. No, T1 already completed his duty and is dead. T2 is alive, T2 already completed duty and dead. Okay, so what you will get false, false, Surendra, Priyanka, false, false. False, false. After 5 seconds, Surendra. Come on. After 10 seconds, Priyanka. Means so we have to wait few. Yeah. Next, false, false. Correct. I hope you guys are getting the clarity about uh, this particular concept. Yeah. This is the story of uh, this kind of traits and all these things. Okay. That's it. I think uh, it is very clear cut information what I provided. Okay. So better to practice by your own to get 100% clarity. Next time. Uh, Next is a, uh, I want to sleep for five seconds. Hmm. You can execute this, sorry, you can uh, find out the output of this particular code, okay, by your own, okay. Next example is a you can find out the output of this particular code as well based on your interest. Okay, you can, you can post the output in comment section. This is example number five. This is example number six is actually. Okay. And that's it. Okay, the clear cut information about is alive is if it is in running state, if it is not dead, when it will dead, if it will complete all work, then only it will dead. But uh, if it is in sleeping stage means it is not dead, it is alive. It is uh, alive. Okay. So that's it. And uh, 
Thank you so much for watching this particular video. We'll meet you in the next video for continuation part. Thank you so much.